in this video, I want to answer the question, what is ROI? Return on investment. Value is a crucial concept in project management, but there are a number of different ways that we can measure it. For my money, the most robust, simple measure of value is return on investment. Return on investment, or ROI, is a widely used measure of the value of an investment. It's used in many branches of business and commerce, but also in the public sector and the not-for-profit sector in many countries. It is a methodology used a lot by the finance industry and by accountants. This makes it a very appealing measure for us to use as project managers because it will be appreciated by our CFOs and finance directors. Unlike simpler measures of value, there is just one simple calculation that all finance professionals use for calculating ROI. ROI is the ratio of net income to total cost. That is, net income divided by total cost. Net income, of course, is the total income minus the total cost, which gives us the simple ROI calculation that ROI equals total income minus total cost, all divided by total cost. ROI is typically represented as a percentage rather than a fraction. To do this, we simply multiply the calculated ROI fraction by 100 to express it as a percentage. An ROI ratio of greater than 1, or an ROI percentage of greater than 100%, represents a positive return on investment. That is, we get more out than we put in. The higher the ROI, the better. If the ROI ratio is less than 1, or the ROI percentage is less than 100%, this represents a loss, an investment that is unwise unless there are other non-financial benefits that outweigh the cost. In commerce, ROI has a large number of uses, and examples include measuring the profitability of investments or stocks, evaluating business opportunities, and comparing different project options, and also evaluating the success of a project. One limitation of ROI is it does not take any account of the time when investment costs are incurred or profits or benefits are gathered. Money spent or received today is clearly worth more than the same sum of money spent or received in the far future. And to take proper account of that, we need to use another methodology known as the discounted cash flow. And I'll put a link to our video, what is a discounted cash flow, in the description. In the discounted cash flow methodology, rather than calculate an ROI, we calculate a net present value. That's the equivalent measure. We can also calculate what's known as an internal rate of return. So do take a look at that video. It's an important companion to this one. However, the ROI is by far a simpler measure to use. And in many cases, particularly for smaller and shorter term projects, ROI is an ideal way to measure the value of your project. Please do give this video a like if you've enjoyed it or learned from it. I'll be creating loads more great project management videos for you, so please do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of them. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.